And what's going on with A? Hey, first of all, y'all, of course, it's Project Storm, and we already know that I'm out here making this 4K content for y'all on a regular basis, right? So I don't have to really say that in the introduction tonight. But what I will say is that I hope it's, I hope everybody's feeling good. I hope everybody's been gaming. You know what I mean? If you're not gaming, then what are you doing? All right. Tonight, I'm just going to let y'all know right now, something could go wrong. If something goes wrong, hey, I'll restart the stream, do a part two or whatever. You all will know where to find it now that you're here. So I want to say that first um, because I'm cranking things up to a high level, y'all. It's going to be a maximum cloud gaming overload. Now, what the hell does that mean? What does that mean, Project Storm? Well, as you can see right here, on this side of the screen, y'all, we got everything that's important in the cloud to me right here in one spot. Now, no, you might not see, you might not, you might not see the, the, the X Cloud test app or the Xbox, uh, what is it called? I would have to go down here. The Xbox game streaming test app, but it's right here. I promise you it's going to be making a debut as well or an appearance. So we're going to jump right into, uh, what should we do first? Uh, hmm. Any, many, money, mo. GeForce Now, it's time to go. Let's go. GeForce Now is first up, y'all. We got Death Stranding back in the collection. I'm happy about it. I have to showcase this game. All right. Now, I see here that the stream is unlisted and I'm already going on and on. Forgot to actually publish the stream. Make it public, I mean. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right. So the stream should be public for everybody right now and i've been doing the intro already y'all i've been talking behind the scenes already and, and didn't even i forgot to make the, the video public that happens from time to time i told y'all not everything is going to go perfect but anyway in case you missed the introduction this project storm welcome to the channel if it's your first time being here everybody who knows me knows it is about to get crazy out here it's about there's about to be tons of cloud gaming content in one place one like right here all together in one spot, y'all, at 4K60. The stream is going to be in 4K60 FPS, right? Not all games are going to be at 4K60 FPS, obviously, um, because the cloud services that I'm about to showcase, some most of them are limited to uh, 1080p. But that doesn't stop the stream from being crispy at 4K, does it? All right, let's go. So as you can see right here, I'm a founder, GeForce Now founder since day one. I was in the beta program. I had keys to give away, tried to give them away to my friends. They didn't know what the hell the cloud was about at the time. So they, they, they kindly declined. And now they're asking me if I have keys and I don't. Or, or, or codes to help them get in and I don't. But see, now it's free. It's free for everybody. That's what I tell them. It's free. Some of them still don't want to try it, but that's on them. I'm out here in the cloud, y'all. So we're going to boot this Death Stranding up, see if everything loads up. All right. This is one of those games that came out on the PS4 when I had my PS4 Pro. I um, I booted it up to see how good it looked, and it looked great. Looked exceptional on um, the PS4 Pro. And it looks good here. But it's not for me to say all of this stuff, y'all. It's for you to make your own determination, come up with your own conclusion on how everything looks to you, uh, whether it's whether cloud gaming is for you or not. Now, the people that I know I already know that cloud gaming is for them. But, hey, I do these videos for everybody. So that includes you. Now, what we're going to do is tonight's plan is to make sure that I jump from game to game on each platform, at least two games on each platform right now anybody that knows the project storm stream knows that it could get crazy as i go on that means i could throw in rtx 3080 gameplay at some point just to show how it correlates or compares to cloud gaming i mean series x might jump in here i don't know y'all it depends on the mood it depends on the flow of the show so first thing first we're going to check these settings this again is geforce now all right, so 1080p is the max, V-Sync off, maximum frame rate, I put it on 240, why not? Graphics quality is a mixture, y'all, all right? But I think it's high enough to look good. D 
DLSS, we want that on. Let's put it on quality. You know what? Let's put it on ultra performance first. Ultra performance first, just to see what it's hitting for, and then we'll we'll go on. All right, confirm that. We're gonna jump in right where we left off. Now I do these streams for fun. The people that know Freddie Freddo was in the building. He knows Freddie Freddo was one of the people that knows what's going on. He knows what I do, man. I do all of this for fun. This is not a direct comparison. I'll let you know when it's going to be a direct comparison. I'm not afraid to do those, but I've been having a lot of fun just showcasing each uh, service or whatever so that people who are fans of each one or may not be exposed to to the other ones, but they might have a favorite one, whether it's GeForce Now, PS Now, Luna, um, Stadia, GFN, or what, I mean, um, which one, xCloud, or whatever the case might be, right? Uh, I just think it's a good thing to put all of them in one place. And again, this is all being streamed in 4K, y'all. It's being streamed in 4K. That's the way I like to do it. Um, kind of helps out with the visual quality, so I do it that way. And I've been coming across some good performance lately across the board on all of them, even xCloud. Now, of course, xCloud is a little bit, it's a little rough. It's still rough on the, you know, rough around the edges or whatever, but it's something that I'm sure Xbox is going to figure out. I mean, they, they, they're they going to figure it out. They have nothing but time, right? So they're going to figure it out, iron everything out, all the issues that I have been having, which is pixelation. I see a lot of pixelation. Even when I'm direct streaming from my console, I see pixelation. So I just want to throw that out there. If you all see any, any of that during the x cloud segment you know exactly what what's going on it's not gonna be on my end and i'll tell you like if it's on my end i'll let you all know that i'm having technical difficulties i'm not gonna do that to you or x cloud or whatever I, I i call it like it is that's what i try to do at least now i get super super excited about playing in the cloud and when i boot up watchdog legion here on geforce now i think you'll understand why I mean, I'm a tech guy. I love the technology, cloud gaming. How could I not like the possibility, the thought of cloud gaming and what that might mean for us as gamers in the near future to be able to play on the go or play anywhere. Now, this load time right here, everything you see, y'all, I'm booting up each service like on the fly. All right. I have a 10700K uh, in this system with a 3080 and all that good stuff. Um, but again, it has nothing to do with my system. This right here is all coming from GeForce now, all coming from NVIDIA's end, right? So eventually it's going to load to 100%. Um, I think that's one thing that they could actually continue to improve upon, and I know that they have been doing so because I, I always try to check out the patch notes each time they drop, and they're always improving the service, like constantly improving the service or whatever, which is a good thing. That's what you want to see. If you are subscribed to the to the service in the first place, you want to know these things. You want to know that they have your back, that they're going to go out here and bust their their tails to to bring you the best possible experience. Now, I think this is a little bit my native PC loads this up much faster, of course. I don't know. I don't know what this is about, but uh, here we go. All right. 100 percent. We're going to resume game. All right, here we go. Beat. Private rooms come with all the basic amenities: shower, toilet. This is where I left off, actually, during my PC stream. Your gear, review info, or whatever else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff. But before you do, why not check things out for yourself? All See right. how operates these days. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm already seeing some nice details on my screen. I hope they're coming across on the stream itself. Um, Hey, if there's any audio issues, Freddie or anybody that stops by, man, let me know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hop in the shower real quick, but don't worry. There's only partial nudity in this one right here. Sam Hartman here. Researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the death stranding as well. I mean, it's full nudity in the shower, but, you know, hey, you get my point. The shower in the room was designed with chiral decontamination in mind. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. 
There's a correlation between yeah, exposure man. I, I, and I'm liking, I'm liking the details. As well as in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. So one thing I encourage people to do when you come out here, you try GeForce Now, is turn that bit rate. Make sure you turn your bit rate. Go into settings, turn that bit rate up from auto to maxed at 50 megabits per second if you can handle that. It's probably going to give you a much better experience as far as clarity and all that stuff goes. All right, so we got to examine the table. Got to get the glasses. And again, I'm going to be doing like maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes of gameplay. Then I hop on another game on GeForce Now. Um, Watch Dogs Legion is next. I think that's a showpiece game. So why not? All right. I think in this room we have to check everything out before we can get to the next spot. So that's what we're going to do. Freddie said, let's go. Freddie, you already know, man. You know what it's about to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what it's about to be, bro. It's about to be a cloud gaming overload. Here we go. Let's check over here. Check the terminal. With that terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database, which has info on a range of subjects. All right, so Freddie no said, I guess the sound is good. All right, if there's any kind of issues or any kind of buffering, because I had the bit rate jacked up on this one, y'all. I've just been trying, I've been trying things out to get this as crispy as possible. So the bit rate is just ridiculously high right now. All right, and I don't know if my, CP, my CPU is up to the task in my streaming PC, um, which I'm using an i5-9400F with a 1660, um, not even a TI, just a regular uh, GTX 1660. And, of course, I have an Elgato um, 4K60 Pro Mark II that's bringing y'all, helping to bring this 4K content that I do and all that good stuff. But who cares about all that right now, right? Let's go ahead and do what we need to do and get up out of this room because I've never been past this part before. All right. What else do I need to check? This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel. All Red right. for medical, orange for corpse disposal. That's nice to Black know. for security. So red medical, that makes sense. Black security with the extra armor or whatever, I'm sure, and weapons. And then orange is uh, for transporting dead bodies, I guess, or whatever. All right, so we're gonna check out, let's check out BB real quick. See how BB's doing. I'm telling y'all, this game, a lot of people don't like the style of this game. They call it the, the whatever simulator and the walking simulator and all that stuff, man. But this right here is a game that you could just hop on. It's like a movie. you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're insane. You know, like a really relaxing movie that's interesting as hell, that's intriguing, has that suspense and everything that you like, you know? Or at least that I like. Um, okay, so BB looks like he's sleeping right now. I'm going to head back on out. Feeling a little bit thirsty. Let's, uh, let's down one of these monster. And look at the details on the damn monster energy can, y'all. If that's not a monster energy drink, I don't know what is. Let's drink one. It's crazy. Crazy realism. <laughs> Yo. The boy's crazy, man. All right. Let's back up out of here. And I think we had to check a couple more things. Use the toilet. Should have done this before I hopped in the shower, though, right? It's funny. It's funny as hell, man. Kojima, man. You know how Kojima does it. All right. And I think I have to go ahead and use the toilet again. I mean, they have everything in the games these days, y'all. All right. 
Okay, let's see. Sink. I don't think I need it. Do I need to use a sink? Or would it let me out now? Nope. All right. All right, now the mirror, of course, on PC. Of course, PC is just going to look better than anything, y'all. I know these are PCs that they're using to stream us the games and everything, but at 1080p, I like to see it at 4K sooner versus later. i tell you that much because on on that, on that a 3080, man, that mirror looked ridiculous. It, like, it looked real. All right. Let's go. I guess I have to sit on the toilet or whatever. <laughs> All right, now that should be enough to get me up out of here. I hope. Did I check the weapon rack? Oh, okay, I need to check the weapon rack. Hey there. Believe we've met. I oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. All right, so what we're going to do, I Freddy, is I'm going to turn the volume up. I'm if more people come in or whatever, I'll turn it back down. I'm going to turn it up a little bit so that you all can hear the game. Not just used for packing, by the way, but for identification, too. Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood. All right, here we go. Okay, now I can leave. Well, have you had a chance oh, to take it over? Character detail is crazy. Chalk full of Kyrelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. I'm just happy to see the game back. I'm that's that's the one thing I'm thinking about right now. I'm just happy to, that the game is back, that I can stream it again. Very I'll happy do about what that. I have to to help Amelie out. Cold as ice. What's going on? It said, "What's this you playing? Death Stranding. Death Stranding, man." Kojima, uh, I want to say a Kojima classic, man. Everything he drops is really classic. I know a lot of people didn't, some people didn't like the Listen fact up, that Sam. they thought the game was going to be something Families else, I guess. Built in the towns and I'm good with it. It's original. Haven't played it before. Haven't seen knots. anything like it. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired. Sometimes wireless. So what I'm going to be doing is mixing it up, data. though. I will be going to different games, so stay tuned for all of you PS Now, all of you Luna fans, all of you so GeForce Now fans, Stadia fans, xCloud fans. I got you covered in this one. We're going to rock for like at least a couple hours, y'all. At least a couple hours. So get some food, get some drinks, do what you got to do. Anyway, and I'll be here. Find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo Communications online. Once As if I don't blow something up, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm pushing this one to the limit, y'all. Massive data transmission with the UCA network, and just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. Details are there. I love it. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored, like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. All right, there it is. Once that, you establish, that's how we're gonna do it. 
generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use chiral printers. It won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after Okay, porters are sh short for transporters, I'm assuming? We'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Because that's what I do in this game, transport stuff. I just transported, uh... The, uh, I'll just say this, I transported yeah, uh, a body. Idle hands and all that. I'll just say that much. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. Had to literally carry the like body on my back miles. for miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. Freddie said, I'll see what I, I was not do. far to buy a PS4 Pro last year to play that game. Oh, so you did you ever get it, though? Did you ever get the system? I got rid of my PS4 Pro, man. I thought I was going to get the PS4 on I mean, the PS5 day one or around day one. But I missed that boat. I missed a clear opportunity because I had the, P uh, the PlayStation, you know what I'm saying? So I got an email from Sony and everything, and my dumb ass decided to just wait because I thought I, I thought they were going to be in stock. So I didn't capitalize on that opportunity to get one day one at launch. Sorry, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I promise you. I'm telling y'all, you never seen a game like this. So DLSS, let's turn it up a little bit now since we're outside. Let's go. Name's Sam. Uh, how do I, how the hell do I get back in options? Hold up. All these different games with different UIs and stuff, man. It gets kind of crazy at times. All right, so there are the settings again, and I'm going to go to quality I wish I had ray tracing all right I can tell that it, it definitely lowered the FPS a little bit but well, let's just see how it looks for anybody that wants to know Let's see. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. If anybody wants to know, that's what I'm using right now. Now we're going to lower that back down. Let's put it back on um, balance. Let's try and balance real quick. Um, just to see what the uh, FPS is like. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Is there a balance mode? Nope. Okay, so performance would be 
the middle ground, I guess. So DLSS is used to achieve the best possible frame rate while keeping the graphics settings at their highest levels. An RTX graphics card is required to use DLSS. All right. So I'm just, I'm thinking about when they if they wanted to just up update this upgrade their servers to like a 3080 equivalent or in the future like a 4080 4090 or whatever man they could easily do some stuff like that and that's the cool part I like will be getting some mind blowing visuals and stuff especially when they up at the 4K uh, okay so we'll play it like this right here. And then we'll switch over to Watch Dogs Legion in a couple minutes. Hello. Hello. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Um, right here. Um, place marker. Am I missing it? Like, where in the hell? Okay, I guess it's over here, yeah. So the game looks good. It looks clean to me. It's just a 1080p resolution, y'all. I just need it to go up to at least 1440p, and I'll be, like, blown away. But some people, most people are going to be fine with this resolution, though. Oh, am I supposed to... So I had to go back downstairs? That's easier. Hey, easy enough. Okay, take on orders. Uh... Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Okay. Uh... Okay, deliver the smart drugs. Okay, hey, let's do, let's see if we could do this one. No, I don't want to cancel it. How do I accept it? Okay, here we go. Carry on back. Attach the suit. Carry by hand. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines. And the the gaming advocate. What's going on, Chase? What's the deal, man? What's the deal? Right now, I figure you're thinking about how I say, hey, hey, ch you actually, Chase actually stopped by in the 3080 stream that I was doing, man. When I was playing this on PC, you picked right up where I left off, Chase. All right, now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This might be time to switch over to Watch Dogs, y'all, because uh, I don't want anybody to be like, Project Storm, man, you don't know how to play the game? Nah, this is my first time here on this game, right? So, confirm, load all, let's see. Just want to get out there and run around. 
Auto arrange cargo. Okay, confirm. All right, let's head out. Once we get out here, y'all. Once we get out here, we're going to take a little look around and stuff. Damn, we got a lot of cargo. Jeez. All right, hold up. G4 is now, though, y'all. Beautiful gameplay. I can't even front. I think I got too much stuff, but it is what it is. Let's check out the HUD. Let's check this map real quick and we out. Don't mind me. Um, Watchtower. We need to go all the way down here. Wow. We're not going to make this whole trip. I'm going to tell you that right now. we got too many games to showcase. Too many services, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shut this one down right here. It's a good stopping point, right? Save. We're going to save first, and then we're going to go to uh, Watch Dogs Legion. Or we might just bounce around. We might go to Amazon Luna right after this. Come back to GeForce now. Um, save. That's all I'm trying to do is save. All right, so let's save this right here. We're going to go to Luna. And uh, over there, we'll go, we'll boot up Division 2 or whatever, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, something like that, y'all. All right. So did I save it? Yep. All right. So let's get up out of here. Don't mind me. Keep hitting the wrong buttons, though. All right. Quick game. I had to play Death Stranding first because it's back on GeForce now. For anybody that didn't know, I had to do it. I found out that the game was back, so I had to start the stream out with Death Stranding, right? All right. <clears throat> so now, we're going to move right over to Amazon Luna. Hold up. Close that up. And I want you all to see exactly how how long it takes to boot into everything or whatever you're going to get a real idea of how it is to jump into these services tyrone menace what's going on man haven't seen you in a little minute bro hope all is good though hope i hope everything is good he said bridges <laughs> now bridges was in the game too but i tell you what that's a long ass way man that's a long. that was a long way to travel on foot right there you know what i'm saying i never Never knew if I was going to get ran down on by some BTs or whatever. You just never know what's going to happen. So I have all the U Ubisoft games right now, y'all, um, that I have access to. I don't have my Luna subscription right now because they, you know, there's really not a lot of the games that I actually want to play right now. But I do, I tell you right, I'll tell you what's cool, though. What's cool is I do have a Ubisoft um subscription or whatever that i pay 15 dollars a month for and i can play any of these games that you see right now starlink i kind of want to jump into starlink because that is a cool game that i don't hear a lot of people talking about right but uh we're going to show off that uh watch dogs let's show off that watch dogs legion ray tracing then we'll get into division two so i told y'all once i start seeing these games i might change things up you got to bear with me let's go back let's go get a glimpse of that good old ray tracing All right, as you can see, I have the MSI Afterburner running right now to let y'all know what the FPS is like and all that stuff. I figure, why not? Um, this is what I use when I'm doing my RTX 3080 gameplay streams and all that good stuff, but y'all already know the deal. I, I, at what, one thing I like is that it's not working my PC hard at all. Like, when I'm playing natively on my PC, my temperature right there would be at about 70, up to 74 degrees. I don't think it's ever reached 75, but it hovers between 70 and 74 degrees under load, right? And then, um, like, my CPU normally goes up to, like, 50-something, 60 degrees under load. But playing in the, in the cloud, your PC is not working hard at all. So uh, you free up that CPU uses to, um, to stream other things. And I know I'm going to have to sign in real quick. They're going to ask me to sign in. So I might as well get ready to do that. Oh, wait a minute. 
They're going to pull me right into the game. I, one thing I noticed about Luna is Luna doesn't expect me to sign in every time. Like, um, what the hell am I? Sometimes I play on my native PC and it asks me to sign in every time. Even though I save my settings, I don't know what that's about. But Luna, as you see, is going to bypass all that. I guess that's a part of the linking process, y'all. Code is I said, do um do what you do. I'm just here for the ride. Yo, check it out, bro. You know I'm going to do that, man. But at the same time, it's cool having y'all on board, man. Because I'm telling you right now, if nobody was watching, I would still do it, right? But but by you all being here makes everything much more enjoyable for me, man. I get to get feedback, get your thoughts on things. Y'all can let me know what the stream is looking like, what games to play, all that cool stuff, man. So that's what it's really about the most. Um, Let's see. So right here, this is a real look at the loading process, right? The loading process, it takes a little bit longer than I want to see it, but they can always iron that out, man. They can tweak it, polish that thing up. Switch some SSDs and all that, and you never know. Before you know it, you'll be loading into these games in less than six seconds or whatever, right? And I'm sure they have SSDs um, that they're using in those in those um, PCs or whatever, in the server blades or whatever that they're using. Um, so yeah, not even not even concerned about that right now. What I want to know is how does the experience look? How will the game feel? We're about to find out. This all hey, everything is live, direct. Anything can happen. There could be an internet issue or whatever. If we see it, it's gonna be a part of the stream. The stream could freeze. It could buffer. I don't know, y'all. If that happens, that's on my end. If you see buffering or whatever, nine out of ten times, that's gonna be on my end because I'm trying to push things too far. <laughs> but that's what I do here. All right. I love that black background with the RTX logo though. All right, here we go. I should have taken. I should have taken a screenshot of that. <clears throat> Man, now this right here. The last time I was on GeForce Now, and I booted. Hey, it was like a couple days ago. I I played Watch Dogs Legion. Yo, I was blown. Legion, Watch Dogs Legion, and I was blown the hell away by the ray tracing and the DL, DLSS performance, y'all. Hopefully, I can replicate that tonight. I don't. I forgot the exact spot I was in, but we're gonna find a new spot to show off. Why not? So look, you know that FPS counter is real. One thing I can say is very accurate, right? No matter what FPS counter I put in game, when I put that on, now right now, who cares about loading? We care about what it's like in the gameplay, though, right? Oh, and by the way, on Stadia today, I jumped online. I was very surprised that I was able to find an online match. I ran around the world, didn't know what the hell I was doing. Me and this guy was just beating people up. It was cool. I mean, as soon as I jumped in online, I was like, man, I'm not going to find anybody. Let's be for real, man. You know, nobody's going to be on Watch Dogs Legion right now on Stadia. And sure enough, instantly I found somebody to play with. I was like, whoa, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, y'all. And I'm not saying that, you know, there's definitely games that you can play online with people. But we let's be for real here, y'all. Sometimes, like the issue is that a lot of people are hating on Stadia right now and they just don't want to come over yet. I do see more and more new people on uh, social media, though, who's jumping over to the platform. So I, I just can't gauge it, y'all. I do need, it would be nice to have some kind of numbers or whatever. That would be cool. But hey, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about playing these damn games. All right, let's go to the settings real quick, though. All right, now, as y'all see, we can go up to 4K. And here's the interesting part, right? I'm not going to play it like that because I know it's not going to handle it. Um, it's just not ready for 4K yet, and it says that. But this right here, when you switch this to 4K, it goes up to 4K. I mean, I know that might sound crazy, but let me just show y'all, man. I don't know. I might have to exit out of game, though. If I don't, if I have to exit out of game, then I'm not. Okay, so watch the performance at 4K, and then I'm going to come back to 1080p, right? So 4K is ready. They just have to iron out how to deliver it. I guess the best way possible. This is just my opinion now, and I want to know what y'all think. You're about to see it right here. So here are the settings. And the Tesla T4 right up here. The Tesla T4 is a more current version of the T, um, the, the CPU architecture or whatever, than the T10 that's in GeForce now. 
Now think about it for a minute. GeForce now uses the Tesla T10. That's from like 11 years ago, y'all. I researched, I researched and what I found online is that that's an older version of this Tesla um, architecture. So I don't even understand all that, y'all. I just don't. I don't know. But DX12, I'm able to switch that on. As you can see. Um, and just like that, this is Luna. And I keep forgetting, y'all. See, it's so similar. That I forget which one I'm playing right now. I thought I was still in GeForce Now. But see, I don't know if GeForce Now will, elect, will allow me to go to DX12 in this game. I don't think they will. Graphics quality, all this stuff, I'm not going to change. I'm going to leave it as is because I'm going back down to 1440p and 1080p just to give y'all a sample of what it runs like, what it looks like. DLSS, we're going to put that on quality like I had it the other night. We're going to put it on ultra because I know that it looks beautiful that way, right? And I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. Now, all we're going to do here is ride around. We're going to ride around. We're going to try to find a beautiful spot with ray tracing, y'all. With some puddles and all that good stuff. Some nice lights. And that's what we'll do here. Once we do that, we'll move on over to xCloud. Or the, the test app. I'm going I'm to call it. I'm telling you right now. I'm calling it xCloud. I'm not going to call it the Xbox test app beta. I'm not doing all that, right? xCloud is what I'm calling it. I think that's the name that they should go with, too. I like that name. All right, now, is it gonna run like it did? So right now, this is at the 4K setting, right? 17 FPS. Now, this is how I know. This is, again, how I know that it's 4K, right? Um, and I'm just showcasing this so that when people get out here and they say, yo, can I go up to 4K? You might get FPS like this. And this is a very taxing game to run, by the way. Other games will run better at 4K than this. But you can you can just tell i think you can tell let me just go somewhere else and um let me let me put it back to 1080p before some people get a little bit bothered by that and then you know but as you see if i switch to 1440p let's see what happens all right because i normally i like to play at 1440p to be honest with y'all all right fps went up to like 30 you see what i'm saying so that's how i know that 4k is ready it's already there. It's been there for a while now. I remember seeing Ace. Shout out to Ace uh, from Cloud Gaming Stream. And I remember him uh, playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And um, I think I was in that chat and I was like, Ace, man, try 4K. He tried it. He didn't even realize it at the time. Sure enough, he noticed that the game looked better. Of course, the FPS tanked, which it should do. But um, it looked better, all right? So that's 31 FPS. Let's go to 1080p. Okay. Hit that apply. 1080p FPS should go up a little bit, not too much though. Yep, around 40, let's see. Let's just run around. Now check this out, ultra with ray tracing on now. I'm gonna find some real time reflections. Look at that building right there, y'all. And this is not, I'm going to find a, uh, of course, I'm going to find something that looks better than this. Let's see if that, you see the reflection, right? You see that, that sign that's on top, the top left corner of that building in the reflection? Looks like a sign or a flag or something. It looks like a flag, right? Let's see if that flag is up there. There it is. Boom. Real time. Real time ray tracing, y'all. Look down, no matter how you turn this camera, that flag is there. Look at the car shadow, the car, the car reflection. It's all there. Now, of course, keep in mind, y'all, that this game is taxing to run. This is high settings right here. All right? We're going to keep it like this. Uh -huh. The game doesn't run that great on Stadia either, at, um, from, my, from my experience. So, and they constantly have to optimize it for native PC. So, what I'm going to do is steal this car right here. And I wish it was nighttime, man. Nighttime with the rain. Oh my gosh. So this is playable though. It's playable. Keep in mind I'm streaming at 4K60. So that might affect a little bit of the performance or whatever. Because it's all streaming in the cloud. But I could play like this. Oh, let me turn that music off. 
All right. See what we can find here. You know what I like doing? Hold up. Oh man, I just saw a cab. I was gonna get a ride. Oh damn, it's over there. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Hey, I'm from the U.S., y'all. You know, I keep saying I'm from the U.S. Why? Yo, I want the music to stay off, though, y'all. I don't know why they keep turning it on. All right. Yeah, but smooth gameplay. As you can see, I can go right close to this car right here without hitting it. Boom, look at that. Go right here, boom. You know what I'm saying? It's responsive. It that might not look the best. And as you can see, it's only 41 up to 41 FPS. It's not 60, even at 1080p. Now, if I went in to change the settings, though. All right. And shout out to Luna. I know that. Hey, look, I'm here to showcase. I'm here to showcase, y'all. It's none of that crazy stuff. None of that BS. You know what I'm saying? No trash talking and all that stuff. Not tonight. Um, Let's see. Because I realized that we need all these cloud services to do their thing. Uh, environment, let's put that on medium. Now it's gonna ask me to restart the game and that's something I don't wanna do. But if you all want me to, I will, of course. Shadows, medium, I like the way that looks over the high because high is smoothed out, right? But I like this look right here. It makes me think that there's more leaves on the trees or something, I don't know. Headlights, I should have turned that up. Reflections. Leave that there because of ray tracing. I can't even tweak that anyway. All right, depth of fill off. Motion blur should be off. Okay. Can't can't tweak that. Um, subsurface scattering. We'll leave that on high. And then we'll put ray tracing on balance for now. Now, you could push it further on PC and probably on GeForce Now. I think on GeForce Now, you're able to push this. And maybe you can't hear. I don't know. But you can push the, the details up, man. This game is, is, they were definitely thinking about the future of these GPUs and stuff. So this game will be a test game for years to come. All right. Well, let's get back in. So now that I tweak those settings, you see the FPS went up to like 45. Let's see if it holds in game though, in gameplay. All right, so it's gonna hover. Doesn't look like it's gonna dip below 40. Oh, don't get in the way now. All, all I'm trying to do is find a good ray tracing spot. Oh, oh, some nice reflections right here though. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was weird because it was showing me a building, I thought, and there's no building right there. But anyway, let's find, let's get out right here. I think I might get ran over, but it might be worth it though. All right. I had to turn ray, ray tracing back up to ultra though. So let's do that. Okay, ray tracing is on Ultra DLSS quality. Let's turn that back to, to that setting. And then we're gonna get out of the car, see how everything looks. All right. It's not the best looking car, man. It's not gonna be a good spot. I thought it would because of all the lighting and stuff, the signs. Yeah, there's something weird going on right there. Hold up. Something weird in this tunnel is going on, right? And I don't have a clue what the hell it is. But it's not supposed to be like that, I'll tell you that much. Okay. This is... It's not the, the showcase that I had going on the other day. You know what, though? This is Luna. That's what. So, again, guys, I get confused. All right. So, the game, this is my first time actually trying it like this on Luna. So, something's going on with the ray tracing on Luna. I'm not sure what that's about. But GeForce Now, 
Oh man, that ray tracing was ridiculous, y'all. The performance, the ray tracing, the FPS, everything. Now I won't be able to show you this counter on um I can't use MSI at the burner with GeForce now because it blocks it for some reason, but and Stadia does too, but man. Hey look, let's hey, I think that's enough right there. We can move on because I thought it was gonna be a visual showcase, but the game runs pretty good. It's playable over here, y'all. You know, you can tweak your settings, that's the best thing about it. But I will give GeForce now a little bit of an edge in the ray trace. Nah, actually a big edge when it comes to ray tracing. It's something that they have to continue to work on, I think, with this game on Luna. So we're going to end it with that thought. Um, back out real quick. And we're going to go over to xCloud Beta. All right. So let's do that. Now, xCloud it might show that the games are running in 120 frames per second, right? Using um, using MSI Afterburner, right? And that's because my monitor is set, as I always like to play, is set at 1440p, 120 hertz, right? Now, this is what I'm going to show you all real quick. xCloud is going to help me demonstrate why I get so hype about playing Stadia. At 120 hertz when i do play stadia for all of you that see my stadia streams and everything right you know how hype i get when i when i'm talking about the responsiveness of of the, the feel of the game is just crazy y'all it's very it's pc like hands down pc like but right now we're going to jump into the xbox game streaming test app i won't be calling it that but i just did it for the for the one time x cloud test app y'all beta All right. So right here, you have two options. Of course, you can stream games directly. I can stream from my Series X right now, even though they have a picture of the One X. But I can stream from my Series X right now that's on standby mode and from anywhere in my crib or whatever. I don't know if that how far the range is. I don't know if I can go to another state and stream games that way. I don't know, y'all. It would be very interesting, though. All right. But right here, this is what I want to focus on. And you have to have um, Game Pass Ultimate to even do this. Uh, let's see. But I'm already in. Did, am I logged in? I'm logged in. So I'm not sure what's going on. Is the test app over? Can I stream directly from my, my console? I was just on it last night, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I should just sign in and list the games or whatever, and I can just click on the games and play. But this right here is directly, it's, look, right here, 120 FPS. I don't even know. I could turn on my Series X controller right now to see if I have my console set to 120 FPS. But like I said, it's picking up the fact that my desktop is 120 FPS, right? Um... But why the hell can I not stream the games? Hold on. Let's go back. Uh, how do I get back there? It's always tricky trying to navigate this, y'all. I can't even lie. Um, disconnect. Okay. Club 488, that's my man cave, y'all. That's that's what I named it. All right, so not sure what's going on. We're going to close it down, try to load it back up. I told you, everything, y'all already know, everything you see is going to be on the fly. Things happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, sometimes I can't sign in. It happens. But I don't know. Hold up. Learn more about how to participate in the preview. But I was already in it. Like, I don't understand what that's all about. Now, is it because... I wonder if it's because I signed up for the Alpha Skip. I tried to do the, uh, you know, get the new access to the new Edge browser so that I could play Stadia on the Series X, right? I don't know if that would have changed my settings, though. I don't... I don't know. Anyway, well, hey, I'll figure that out later, I guess. Let's see here. 
Yep, we'll come back to that. So next up then would be PS Now. Let's see. Let's see how PS Now is doing. Maybe it has something to do with that, y'all. Now, Tactical Defense uh, said, sadly, X Cloud on PC with the latest update doesn't work anymore. Nah, damn it. Damn it. And I have to update PS Now. See, y'all. Now, let me say this real quick, man. Thank you, first of all, Tactical. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for stopping through. Damn. I can't use the X Cloud beta anymore, right? To test that. I can't, I have to do an update on PS now. Now this should be a quick update, but see, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that on Stadia, y'all. You just don't. And I know it might sound like, here we go. Here we go. But see, this is an advantage of Stadia. Like you don't have to worry about any of this. Now, the only time I've seen an update was on NBA 2K20 and that was a, a glitch or whatever on Google Stadia, but I've never seen an update message, period. Point blank, right? Now, you have to update the games because of these services like Luna and GeForce. Now, they're running from um, PC. So, if that PC has to do an update or Steam or whatever needs to update, then you're probably going to have to do those things, right? All right, but let's do this update. Should be quick and painless. Uh, restart PlayStation Now. All right, so that wasn't bad. It was just an app update. So, that wasn't bad at all. Now, hopefully that update didn't do anything to the performance because I'm going to jump back on God of War 3 and I might jump into Call of Duty or whatever, um, Black Ops 3, because I think that's the only Call of Duty that's available on PS now. Yeah, so we'll do that and uh, see what the performance is like. Now, again, I think that MSI... MSI Afterburner is probably going to work on PS now so we get a chance to see what the FPS is like and all that good stuff for the people that care. I know I do. All right. And here we go. Yo, so this right here is real. I'm just really laid back, y'all. I'm chilling. I have access to all these cloud services right now at my disposal, man, to just do what I want to do. Now, it's unfortunate that I can't. I'm going to go back to the X Cloud to the test app and stream games directly from the console for people that want to know what that's like. But I'll do that right after this. So hopefully I won't forget. All right. I'll go back to the um, test app to stream games directly like Outriders or something directly from my my Series X. Now, look at this. Now, how do I get it home? Can I hit home? Is it ready for me to do anything? Okay, cool. Start. So my, so my subscription ended. I'm, uh, oh, it's just Marvel event. Okay. I'm confused now y'all sign in the hell. All right, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Be right back. Just in case it shows anything confidential y'all hold on. All right, so I have to re-enter my email. I hope I can remember the password. That's the problem. But an update, though, y'all, I'm not used to that. Not used to that. All right. I think I can remember the password I used. All right, so that's that. Uh, very verify the puzzle. Touch the image that is correct way correct way up. Uh, what the hell is this? A frog? All right. <laughs> These things are funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? Always, always funny as hell. All right. So now I should be able to jump into a game and stream. Hopefully everything goes well. Uh, let's see. God of War. I said I was going to continue from that game. Recently. Where's my recently played? Play history right here. God of War. We had Doom. Doom runs like a dream. Maybe I could play that in the second half of the stream. You know what I'm saying? Keep people wide awake and all that good stuff. But right now, God of War. Oh, we're going to rip and tear until it's done. You see what I did there, y'all? I did it kind of like backwards. That's a Doom line, but. It fits for God of War because he's always like he just ripped the Minotaur the hell up in the last stream and it was just not even cool. Same with the uh, Medusa looking chicks. 
Um, all right, so let's jump in. Not using DualShock 3. Nope, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller for Windows. So let's go. Now, one thing I will say is motion control. If you care about motion control, like I wanted to play Infamous Second Son, and on that game, it is heavy, like motion, like the touchpad was heavily incorporated. And I, I wasn't able to get past certain parts because I didn't have a PS4 controller. So I will say you need a PS4 controller when you're playing PS now. It's good to have one. So don't get rid of all your PlayStation controllers, your DualShocks or whatever. Like I did, I actually traded in my damn controller, like three controllers when I traded in my PS4 Pro with hopes that I was going to get that PS5. And one day I will, one day I will. All right, right here, as you see, the FPS counter is up here, OpenGL. You can see OpenGL right here, and it changes on the fly, y'all. Last time it said uh, DX12, it will go to Vulcan and all that stuff, right? So OpenGL right before here. The age of the now, I do want to show y'all this first before I jump in. A legend rose to claim Hold up. His place among them. This and right here is what I get hype about right here, this message. As the new God of War, Let me turn this sound down real quick so I can read it. Of his family. Alright. So basically, the right here, y'all, what this is about him. The sisters is is using my RTX 3080 and on this for all the people that didn't believe that I had the 3080. I had some of those people like, man, you don't have no damn 3080, man. Right here, GPU, NVIDIA, RTX 3080, optimized app performance, uses hardware accelerated rendering for smoother operation. Optimized game stream uses the GPU to upscale the game resolution to maximum quality. Requires hardware accelerated rendering. Now that's dope as hell, y'all. That's dope. And that's what's happening when I play Stadia. It's happening over here. It's probably happening with all of them, to tell you the truth. But I know it's happening over here for sure. Because you just saw it. So we're going to leave the window like this for a minute. We're going to jump right into the game. I think I'm at... The part where I'm about to fight Hades, if people don't know, that's a hell of a fight. And I haven't been on this game in over, before I started playing on PS Now, probably five years or something like that, I don't know. It's been a long time. So, load. Is it going to load my progress though? Oh, okay. Looks like it. 4-4. Four, four. Uh, is this the latest one? Yep. 855, we'll go with this. And just like that, y'all, PS Now. Mamba Man TV, what's going on with you? Nice, hey, thanks for stopping by. Get ready for some God of War 3. So I like to say, man. Now, I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be going, so y'all bear with me real quick. I don't know. Look at the details already, man. Using that 3080, the good old 3080. PS Now, y'all. PS now has the potential to come out of nowhere and leapfrog uh, um, xCloud, man. It has that potential already. It has the potential to sneak up and go 4K and be a threat, a force to reckon with for Stadia and GeForce Now and Luna, y'all. PS now can come out here if Sony wanted to do it. I don't know. They're going to have to probably try to get somebody's, uh, use somebody's server and their hardware and server blades and all that stuff. But man... This right here already looks good as hell. Even in 1080, and I'm assuming this is 1080p. It can't be 720p for sure. But could it be higher than 1080p though, y'all? Look at this. Look at the detail of that marble, reflections and everything. I want y'all to peep this. That's not ray tracing. But it looks like it though at times. Look at the marble. Shoo. Yo. I'm telling y'all. This is why I do it all right here. When you when you play like this, y'all, you forget that you don't have a console under your TV. And I'm not just saying that. Just watch the response. I'm just not right here. If I hit R1, I'm going to count to three, hit R1. One, two, three. Oh, it didn't do a damn thing. I hit the wrong button. All right, hold on. Let's hit X. One, two, three, X. Look, he reaches out as soon as I hit it. X. X. Right on cue, y'all. There's no latency. Zero. All right, let's hit jump. X, jump, X, jump. It's all day, y'all. Spot on, one to one. Telling you, PS now, man, they can creep up. Oh, 
This is the part right here where if you have friends, man, if you have friends that are thinking about PS Now, call them up, tell them to get in here, check it out. Hit that like button, y'all, so more people can see this, man. If you're a PlayStation fan, you should be hitting that like button anyway. Because this right here is the showcase that people want to see, I think. Uh-oh. I remember this dude. All right. Look at that, man. I mean, like, this right here is just my type of game to play in the cloud, though. Leave me be. Uh, I tell you. Oh, let me turn that sound back up a little bit. The pride. Calm yourself, Smith God. It's my type of game. It's all uh, to it. Ghost of Sparta. It is you. Well, well, well. I Let me turn the audio up so y'all can get into it for a second. Hold on. I thought you would have escaped this cavern by now. 60 FPS, as y'all see. Zeus may have imprisoned me here, but you are the reason I live in torment. I did you no wrong, Hephaestus. You see, my I GPU is working harder. It's at 55 degrees now instead of well, 37 as long as degrees. It's only one Olympian. <laughs> I seek the flame of Olympus. Do you know Nobody else is breaking down the cloud like this, man. I'm proud of myself, y'all. I have chosen. Now tell me, do you know of the flame? I mean, there's people that's doing a hell of a job, though, but, all you know, children of MSI Olympus Afterburner Lord. showing the temps and all, all that stuff, man. Respect its power. But don't be fooled by its enticing glow. I know Marchief. Shout out to Marchief from Cloud Gaming Extreme. Neither I've seen God him do it, of course. Touch its lethal flame. I only need to find it. <laughs> if you can find your way out of the underworld, I'm Man, sure you can details, find your way Come to on the now. Is this an old ass game for on a PS3 right here? You have been truly helpful, Hephaestus. I mean, check this out right now. If this game came out today on PC, people would be like, "Yo! It's the dopest thing I've seen." Like, there's some good details in here is what I'm trying to say, y'all, but let's go ahead and do what we do. Look at that. All right. Hey, hey, check it out. Hey, 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 hey. Everything's just there, man. Okay, so hold that R1. All right, we already looked at that. So Hades is my, he's on the other side of this door, huh? Raven's in the house. What's going on, Raven? Raven, this right here, man. Shh. I know you do the G-Force now, Raven. I know you prefer G-Force now, but you care, you care about all of them. Uh, well, no, I know you rock with Stadia, too, but uh, check this out, Raven. I need to know if you think this is impressive right here, bro. That's what I need to know. It's using my RTX 3080 for hardware acceleration and all that, man. Like... Bro. So now that we just saved, I can't remember. Can't remember what the hell I'm supposed to be doing right here, y'all. Hold on. I feel like it's a little dark, though. But it might just be my TV. Alright, so I can't get in that door. Or did I have to save for... Okay, so... See, games, if you haven't played them in a while, they become brand new again. Raven said it looks like uh, it looks nice though. I was uh I he said I'm rocking iPhone 12 Pro Max with HDR. Shoo, nice. Okay, so I'm not supposed to go here. What the hell? 
am I supposed to be doing? That'd be a hell of a fight to uh, to add to the stream right now, though, if I could figure this part out. Anybody remember it? Does anybody remember? What do I have to do over here, y'all? So I hit the switch, but what? I forgot what the hell happened. Wasn't paying attention. All right, let's go back down. Oh, okay. All right. smooth that is that's 60 fps y'all you can just look at how smooth everything is turning my arrow here we go now we're rocking Raven said I would do PlayStation now but no Mac or phone support oh yeah that's not cool something else they got to work on they have to add that to the list add that to the list Sony all right what do I need I need the uh, okay I don't need help All right, for anybody watching, I'm using, I have a gigabit up and down. If anybody's wanting a connection speed and all that stuff, you know what I mean? Just using my, you already see my PC, hey, like a, a 3080 and a 10700K or whatever. All that stuff matters, but How not, you know of me? CPU, You're not so much. Everyone knows who you are. It matters Everyone for PS now. There are reasons for that. But more I'm important, the most important thing is connectivity and stability. Creature. When it comes to your internet connection, I'm not a child, Kratos. And and uh, playing games in the cloud. What you are. My concerns lay elsewhere. Man, look at this! Look at this, y'all! If you this to came to GeForce Now today, also... Stadia today, man, and people haven't seen this game, haven't played it before, and they see, oh my gosh, and they see me streaming the gameplay, they might cop right after that. Oh, let's get it. Come on, come on. Let the rage of Sparta fuel your blade. I'm telling y'all. This is dopeness in a bottle, y'all. Dopeness in a bottle. Whoop, 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 whoop. I didn't even have to use my rage right there. All right, here he is. This part was dope when I first played it. The first time I saw this, y'all, it was it was just crazy. Oh, wait, wait. I always forget whether I'm supposed to go up or down. Very, con very PC like. It's not even console like, y'all. It's very PC like right now. That's the feeling of the game. All right. Now, let's go ahead and level up. What can we level? Blaze of Exile. Max damage, yeah, need that. Need that. Okay, so Cyclone of Chaos, L1 and Square. All right. 
Okay, new golden fleece counter. All right, parry with uh, L1 and square and press square. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to remember that. I'm going to tell you all right now. In combat, I'm just going to be trying to chop and live. Chop and survive. All right, here we go. Go ahead and save over that. All right, it's about to go down, y'all. If you can only feel, oh my God, if you can only feel the responsiveness though, y'all, of just like pressing the X button and hitting, those, just shooting those arrows. I'm gonna try to put the controller to the mic, right? Let me put the controller to the mic. I mean, it's right, it's like it almost fires before I hit the X button. Dope. Let's roll, roll, jump, 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 X. Everything spontaneous, just spot on. All right, here we go. <laughs> I realize I said spontaneous too, y'all. I always pay attention to what the hell I say, whether it makes sense or not. That's up to y'all to decide. I'm playing the game, though. All right, here we go. Now, these dudes are hard. I remember them. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's get y'all right here. Hit you with that. Now, what the hell? See, this is when I'm supposed to be using a parry, right? I thought, I thought I was gonna be able, to, be able to do a little bit more right there. That's two heads. No, no, the other one, the other one. Damn it. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Damn it. How did I know they were going to do that, man? Controller, you gotta know your buttons. Oh. Damn. like button y'all subscribe if you want to i'm gonna be doing this all the time you know what i'm saying it's just a normal day all right damn oh i thought i had some more of the uh my ability. Damn. 
rip that off. Let's go. Woo! Talk about dope performance, man. Marcel Hoskins in the building. Brian Aguilar is in the house, y'all. Brian said, uh, same at PS now was available to, to the browser. I am changing gover <laughs> governments. I hear you. Marcel said, is this streaming or download games? Yo, damn sure streaming right now, man. It, 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 hey, if you didn't ask that question, it might be hard for me to remember, though. I can tell you that right now. This feels very PC. Like, we're going to skip the PS4 Pro. We're going to skip the PS4 base and all that, right? We're going to say it's, it's feeling like PC. And all PC gamers, you know what I'm talking about when I say that, right? Alright. But look, thank y'all for stopping through though. For sure. Make sure you hit that like button for your boy though. I'm trying to put this one out there, y'all. All cloud gaming services in one spot. 4K stream. You know what I'm saying? No BS. I'm not even playing games out here. The only games I'm playing are in the cloud. I know y'all like that. Alright. We got the people falling to hell. Glad I'm not one of them. Hold on. Let's open it up. It's time. Now, since xCloud, you know, since I can't play, I can't use the test app, they faked me out. You know what I'm saying? I put the tweet out there and everything. I know they're like, yeah, you think you're going to be streaming the, uh, the xCloud test app right now, but nope. All right. No. Oh, that's messed up. That's what I tried to do right there. I like that. Get off me. Get off me. Let's go. Good old God of War, just like we remember it. Check out the shine, y'all. Those details right there really shouldn't be there, y'all. I don't know how the hell is I'm 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 able to see these details right now. But they're there. Welcome, Spartan. Come in. Make yourself at Chariot man in the house. What's going on with you, brother? You won't be leaving. What's the deal, man? Hey, Chariot, I meant to stop by. Did you ever pull off the Outriders stream? And I think I think I remember seeing that you were going to be doing Outriders, man. I was going to ask. I think I stopped by and checked out the video. But I don't know if you played or not. At least that's what I saw like a day or two ago or whatever. But Cherry, this right here, PS Now, man, using the 3080 for hardware acceleration, man. Got the game feeling like PC right now, looking good, looking clean, looking like it's damn sure higher than 720p. Now I know the desktop, I think it's, I think it, ought to, it comes with 1080p support on desktop. But man, this looks good. All right, so that gate opened up there, y'all. I don't even want to get off of this right now, man. I might have to go ahead. It's for next up is Stadia, or I'm going back to xCloud, actually. Damn it. So I got to... All right, this would be a good time to actually... to go ahead and take this break, man, because I don't know if this puzzle is going to be hard or not. Hold up. Jump off. Jump off. All right, get off. <laughs> Chariot said, God damn. Been busy working. Uh, Calvin Morgan in the building. What's going on, bro? Said, I'm doing it tonight, 10, 10 p.m. Oh, you're doing it tonight? I knew I saw something. I was like, no way he didn't. Because I was, I, I checked out the video. 
and I didn't see the gameplay. You know, I was like, yo, this is too short to be a damn gameplay stream. So I kind of like skimmed through it or whatever. And then, so that's why. But y'all, check that out. Chariot Man Gaming. That's going to be a hell of a stream right there. Outriders. Man, I was on it early on the Series X. All right. But the game crashed on Series X, y'all. It keeps crashing to desktop on Series X, and it pisses me off. I'm telling y'all. They need to go ahead and work on that while they're working on other issues. All right. So, like I said, this is a good place to stop right here. So, the PS Now, I'm not too biased when it comes to PS Now, but y'all, this performance is crazy. Let me show y'all one more time, right? You go right here. You come down here. All right. Oh, actually, right here. You right click, graphic settings. And it says it right there, GPU, NVIDIA uh, RTX 3080, optimized app performance, uses hardware accelerated rendering for smoother operation. Optimized game stream uses the GPU to scale the game resolution to maximum quality, requires hardware accelerated rendering. Now that sounded like a commercial right there. Hey, check this out. We're gonna shut it down, man. PS Now is out here doing what it's supposed to be doing, getting better and better. The next time I come back over here, it's gonna be Call of Duty Maybe, I don't know, I might throw a curveball and put a different game up. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and exit out. I gave that a 10 out of 10. That performance right there was crazy. All right. Let me close that down. As you see, we got Stadia over there waiting. Y'all see me do Stadia all the time, so the Stadia is going to be last. All right. <clears throat> Let's go back to the test app. We're going to stream a game directly from my console. How about that? Because as you can see, xCloud is just not working right now with this right here unless there's a workaround. But I need to holler at somebody who knows what's going on. Like Game Tech Planet, I got to shout him out because he's the one that put me down with this app in the first place. And I was happy as hell. Um, so I, I already know that him, Ace, Marchief, somebody will be able to hit me up, get me going in the right direction. Um, just with updates so I, so I can know exactly what's going on. But who, who came in here and told me? Uh, I want to give them a shout out again, man. That was Tactical Defense. Says, sadly, xCloud on PC with the latest update doesn't work anymore. Damn it. Hurts my feelings right there. Right here, this is it's streaming my, my Series X, y'all. This is what it is. This is what it looks like. Now, we're going to, before we jump in, though, look at that 120 hertz. I'm telling y'all, when I keep telling people that Stadium out here playing Stadium and it feels like 120, now you know why. Because the desktop, man, that hardware acceleration is crazy. It kicks ass, y'all. All right. Um, uh, hit the wrong thing. Okay. So we're going to go to statistics, right? And we're going to go to the display graph just to let y'all see the health 100%. That dips down at times, right? But I just want y'all to see. That whatever I have a gigabit, man. Y'all know my connection. I can if I can stream in 4K 60 FPS all the time and have like multiple windows open and all these different apps and things like that. You know, resolution 720p. We need to fix that. Why is it 720p right now and not 1080p? Hold up. I need to turn on my Series X real quick. I know damn well I don't have Series X set to 720p. Uh, now, watch this cool. Now, this right here is going to be cool, y'all. I turn on my Series X with the controller, right? You're going to see me navigating on my console. Use, look, this is using my wireless Series X controller right now, y'all. While I'm in the damn, the X, I'm in the X, the app, put it like that, right? So I can go to my settings. Hold on. Settings. Where the hell is settings at? Settings over here. Now, this is crazy, y'all. All right. This play 4K. 4K resolution. I don't know where the hell 720p is coming from. What is that about, y'all? You know what I'm saying? But what I might do is put it on. Let's put it on 1440p, 120 hertz. All right. Oh, it went to 1080p, though. That sucks. All right, there it is. 1440, 120. I just wanted to set it like that just for the hell of it. It's not going to make a huge difference or anything. 
but just in case you never never know but that's 720p yesterday it was at 1080p y'all i don't know how to change it i don't know if you can change it but that's not that's not gucci right there y'all come on man come on man come on x cloud all right so it's definitely not gonna look too appealing but let's boot up outriders and see what's going on i tried to click it like I could use my mouse or whatever. I'm using the mouse right here. <laughs> but I'm, it, it's so crazy because I had the 360 controller for Windows that I'm using to actually play the game. I have my Series X controller to navigate. Then I have my mouse right here because I'm using the app on my desktop, y'all. Crazy controls. You have to learn to navigate all these controls when you're coming out here trying to do a stream like this. Alright, 720p though, come on man, come on man, we were just at 1080p yesterday, let me go into, damn, I don't know what that's about, whatever, let's go full screen, but anyway, when xCloud is working y'all, I mean when they get it right, Oh man, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. Cause you're gonna be able to just jump in and stream Outriders, right? Hold on, now now that the game's booted up, it's probably 1080p, it looks cleaner now. So that might be what it is, y'all. Oh no, it's still at 720, damn. If anybody knows how I can up that resolution, let me know, let your boy know. All right, I need this off my screen. All right, there it is. I should have hit the A button already while I was doing all that. But uh, Mamba Man TV said, I've never had latency issues with really any cloud gaming service. I think those issues are absolutely overblown. Nice. But some people have. Yeah, you're right. But you're right, though, man. I don't really have those issues either. I do run into issues sometimes, y'all. I mean, when it comes to this this cloud, but when it comes to hardware alone, how, even hardware, you have issues. You know what I mean? People's consoles overheat, disk drives not working, all that stuff, right? You have to ship them back. But when I'm having issues in the cloud, I don't have to worry about shipping. I don't have to worry about all that. I don't have to box up a damn thing. Wait two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, right? No. All I do is just shut down the app, boot back up. I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? And everything's working. Now, if my internet's not working, that's a different story. But if your internet's work not working, you're not going to be able to play anything but single player games any damn way. No matter what's going on. So you can't put that on the cloud. I don't know. All right, we're going to continue right here. See what the gameplay feels like. Let's move this reticle around and I can give you all an idea. All right, so it's going to be playable because I can tell by the, the reticle. There's a little bit of latency right here, right? Let's see. Down. There's a hint of latency that I can feel right now that that might affect aiming and stuff like precision. But I always th thought that there was a latency issue anyway when it comes to Series X in certain at cer certain times for me on my end. Not for everybody that plays Series X. I always think that there's a latency issue. Maybe that's because I'm playing Stadium most of the time in PC at 120 hertz or higher FPS or whatever the case is. All right Now, I already said there's going to be some pixelation because... I've just never seen it. I've never seen it run for me on the same setup I just played PS Now on, that I just played GF Now on, G GFN I mean, or GeForce Now, and the same one I just played Luna on. Same setup, same, I didn't I didn't change anything, right? But see, that's what I'm saying by xCloud, you know, they have a long way to go. They have a way to go to catch up, man. And when they do, when they hit that stride though, you're going to be, play, be able to play all those Bethesda games and all those other great games on this platform. On the Xbox platform using the xCloud. Oh, man, I'm here? Oh, hell no. This is going to be a royal ass whooping, y'all. Alright, so there's latency. I can tell y'all right now, like I thought. You can feel it. Um, but, this is streaming directly from the console. It should be looking much better than this, y'all. I've seen it how it's supposed to look. And this is not it. I don't know what's going on because you can't tweak the resolution. But this is not good. I'm not going to show it. And I, that's why I don't really show off 
xCloud like that. Because I don't want people to think that that's how it looks for everybody. But at the same time, this is a realistic look at xCloud. Or direct streaming. So imagine me trying to actually play xCloud. Now last night I will say that it was looking better. I, I don't know. But this right here, you know how I like to do it. I keep it real, y'all. Everything is live and direct. You get a real look at it. It might look beautiful one day. It might look choppy the next. I have issues on Stadia. Like I tried to play on the CCU. It wasn't Stadia's fault. It was my setup, right? And um, because of the splitter I was using, I couldn't get it to run at uh, couldn't get it to run at 4K on the CCU. Oh Lord. But I hope, hey, I hope this is not a spoiler, y'all. I'm going to stop it right here. I don't want to spoil anything for you good people. And I know that this 720p is going to look a little bit off. So we're going to go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and exit out real quick. All right, disconnect that. We got to let them know that it was not a, a beautiful experience. Let's, let's go to, hmm, we had a little bit of latency. Does it say latency anywhere? Controller input lag, boom. This is how you make it better right here. Wasn't stuttering, wasn't freezing. Interruptions, no. Game lag, we'll say that. Uh, we'll say um, everything else seems to be, everything else seemed to be okay though. Network, it was just network type issues, I guess, man. I don't know. But hopefully that made everything a little bit better. Now, let me look at the chat to see if anybody let me know how to troubleshoot that. Tyrone Menace said certain games um, do have latency, but it's nothing uh, game breaking though. And I already know you know about the box. I already know you know about that Xbox, bro. I already know what the deal is. Said, I'm enjoying playing my games at 120 FPS and streaming at 60 FPS. Right? Um, all in all, though. Okay. Oh, okay. All in all, though. I got you. So, yeah, man. It's just not there yet. But we already know that. You know? We already know that. All right. But I have to showcase it, though, man. Because people might want to know what it performs like so we're gonna exit out of that if i can get up i uh, get up out of here hold on there we go all right and last but not least it's time to go over to stadia land the land of electric air y'all what game are we gonna play i don't know i really don't know Watch Dogs Legion, nah, I think we already booted that up for tonight. Let's go to something different. Now, of course, on, typically on stay, on Luna and GeForce Now, that game, the game, this game runs better on those services. All right. Um, we, the game is running at 30 FPS on Stadia. I would rather the game run at 60 FPS, you know, so I'm not going to jump on that one. Shout out to SpongeBob B Bikini Bottom just dropped off. I know some people that I know actually like that game. I haven't tried it yet. I might like it too. I need to get into it. Pikaniku. These are games that are at, being added to the library, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to jump into, man, what the hell do I want to jump into? I feel like jumping into something that I haven't played in a while. Uh, uh, I don't I don't even know y'all to tell you the truth I don't even know but I will show y'all I will show y'all a 30 FPS game like Assassin's Creed Valhalla right let's jump into that real quick gotta show the 30 FPS games this game is running at 30 on Stadia alright it should be running at 60 but hey what can I say and then we'll jump into a 60 FPS game to showcase that I do think the game looks good over here but you know you got to show some you got to show some of the concerns some 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 of the uh, the shortcomings and all that stuff you know it can't always be all good all 60 fps titles and stuff like that looking buttery smooth you know we got to show people what other games look like if they're going to be interested in the platform and stuff right 
Now, some people praise the game the way it is. Me, y'all know I prefer 60 FPS. If you didn't know, now you know. That's just how I am. I've done 30. I can't do 30 like that anymore. The, 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 the frame rate catches my eye, y'all. And when it catches my eye, it makes me sick and queasy. Now, if anybody else gets that way, let me know. When you play games at sub 30 FPS or at 30 FPS, let me know. I know it can't just be me. Because I, re I researched it, looked it up on the internet. There's thousands, if not millions of people who feel that way. You know what I'm saying? The, hard, they, the hardcore PC gamers know exactly what I'm talking about. 30 FPS, man. They just can't do it. Neither can I. I can, but come on, man. Who wants to in 2021? Oh, I should have gone to the options. Let's see and see if this game had a... Oh, my God. I hit the mic. But uh, if this game had a high frame rate mode, y'all, it'd be dope as hell. I'm talking about Series X right now. The consoles have that 60 FPS buttery smooth appearance. Uh, but it's up to Ubisoft. It's not a Stadia thing. It's, I, don't, I don't believe it's a developer thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, so the game is going to be beautiful, like I said, though, right? This is the game. All right? And if you don't know what to look for, you're not going to see what what, what like really a story? what, what, what worries me, what, what makes me be like, nah, I can't do 30 FPS. All right? Beautiful sunshine, all that, right? But as I look up there in that mountain, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see that on the stream when I'm turning that camera. Looking up in that mountain. If I'm actually looking for something up there and I'm moving the camera or whatever. Now, if I stop, of course, I can see what I need to see. But when I move that camera to turn in and stuff, it catches my eye like the tree, the house. All that is blurry. That right there. I can't do it, y'all. I just can't. Project Storm, I can't do it. It will make me sick over time. On my TV, I guess. All right. Beautiful game, plays well. You'll be able to play this game all the way through. No issues. The majority of the people will be able to play this, no problem. It's beautiful, it runs good. Bow and arrow out, boom. I can shoot the target from right here. Oh, damn, I shot the chick I was supposed to be talking to. My bad. Damn. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? All right. I would be happy to. Not a problem at all to I'm line standing. that target up. You know what I'm saying? Plant now, no wider than your shoulders. There's some resistance. The control is rumbling and all that back. stuff, right? Bullseye. Boom. Look at the point you want to hit. All right. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it. And all right. So it. now, that's Without, what I'm talking about as far as 30 FPS, right? But we're going to go to a 60 FPS game real quick. And there's a lot of those over here. There's a lot of those over here. Brian said, go to Uno. Man, I should. But, but nah, I'm all right. <laughs> I should go to Uno, but nah, I'm all right, man. Uh, Cyberpunk and Doom Eternal, man. We got some good ones, y'all. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. Doom Eternal, why not, man? Doom Eternal is a game that's notoriously hard to run. Especially in this, definitely, it's tough to play in the cloud, right? I got to go to Doom Eternal, man. Why not? It's one of my favorite games. It's a good showcase game. You know, a lot of people say the game, you know, it's a Twitch-based game. So if there's any kind of latency or anything like that, you're not going to be able to line up any headshots. You're not going to be able to really shoot people with precision. You're not going to be able to do those things. You know? But let's just see how the game plays in the browser, man. Everything I played tonight is in the browser. I mean, hey, it's dope. Stadia, y'all know what it is. If you've already seen the content, you know what it's about to look like. You know, I'm confident in it. Um, now, that doesn't mean that something can't happen because I just said that. But I can go to 4K right over here. Boom. See what I'm saying? VP9 codec. And then I'm, I'm, that hardware acceleration is kicking in over here, too. Let's see if it feels real PC like, like uh, PS Now though. All right. Let's just uh, pick up, wait a minute, Ancient Gods. I should, you know what? I need to buy that Ancient Gods too, but 
but I need to finish this first. That's why I haven't done that yet. Now I'm going to pick up right where I left off, and it's going to be a tough ass fight. But maybe I can take this dude out. And I'll tell you right now, what the part that you're about to see right now, if there's any kind of latency or whatever, people, it's just not going to happen. Just not going to happen. All right. Oh, there was a nice little hiccup right there to start the day. Nice little hiccup. Alright. Oh, oh, where'd he go? Come on, come on. Oh, damn. This is a hard part right here, I can't lie. See what I'm saying right there? Visual skips. Visual skips, y'all. I keep it real. I call it like it is. If it happens, it happens. But I can't control it. Now, does it always happen? That's a, that's a no. Oh! Yeah, this dude right here. He, oh, I could have hit him again. Oh my god. This dude right here is hard. Oh, the Marauder. Come on. Damn it. All these pods are exploding and stuff. Ah. Get him out of here, though. Get him out of here, y'all. Just like that. Took out the Marauder. I think that's the name of it. Had the hiccup in the, in the beginning. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. He's also tough. All right, hold on. I don't have any more shoddy ammo. I beat the boy in one take. Wow. Beat him in one take, y'all. In the browser, though. In the browser. Okay. They're gonna try to run up on me, though. Come on, man. See if I can get that head shot. And this is with the, uh, the 360 controller, y'all. It's super, it's super duper uh, smooth, too smooth. It's too much sensitivity, right? But you can get used to it. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, I need that rocket. Get up out of there. Super smooth, man. Y'all already know. Minus the hiccup in the beginning. Uh, hey. Ah. Super duper smooth. All right. Let's go back up. What was that behind me? I saw something. Okay. Let's get some air real quick. We're going back in. Now, I have never seen this part, y'all. It's all brand new to me. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where to go. Hold up. Okay, I need to go over there. Okay, now. The hell do I... The hell did I get over there? Damn, radioactive water, y'all. 
How the, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? Hmm. Alright, let's go over here. Oh. Alright, bear with me while I figure this out, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Can't go there. Can't get up there yet. And that's where I'm supposed to go, too. That's where I'm supposed to go. try something come on can I make that damn it no idea where to go y'all I'm about to switch games I don't want to get stuck I mean, I know where to go, but damn, like, how am I supposed to make that jump? Oh, knew that wasn't going to work. All right, we're not going to figure that out right now. We're going to jump into another game, though. Let's not waste time. All right, let's see what else we got down here. See, every time I see these games, man, I just want to jump into either one of them, Dirt 5, whatever, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Resident Evil, I can jump back into PUBG. Man. Ah, Hitman. I feel like I want to go exciting, y'all. You know what? Let's go double. Let's just double dip. Let's go Doom 2016. That's always fun to play. Good performance, fast FPS. Remember, it's just to showcase what the cloud services can do. And also, pretty much how they perform overall, y'all. That's what this one is about. I'm just disappointed I couldn't get um, the Xbox app. Disappointed in that one. All right, here we go. I don't even know where I was on this game. But at times, y'all, I think this game looks just as good or performs better than Doom Eternal. All right. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, I remember this. How smooth this is though. Alright. What is let's see here. Where's my waypoint? I just saw it. Oh here it is. Oh man, I thought I was playing Doom Eternal. I tried to boost for dash forward. All 
All right. So I got to get over there. Again, I come to a part where I was, I had to be stuck. <laughs> oh, man. And I've actually beat both of these games, though. I haven't beat the um, Ancient Gods content, but I've done this all before. All right. Uh, man. All right, so yeah, this one right here is about to get shut down just because I can't remember what the hell I was supposed to be doing when I shut it off last, and it was probably doing a live stream. Oh, okay. Let's get it done. Check out how smooth the gameplay is, though, y'all. Remember, I got the sensitive ass... Uh, 360 controller for Windows. It feels real good on certain games, though. Flipping, y'all. Man. But anyway, that's a taste right there. Doom Eternal. I mean, Doom Eternal and Doom 2016. I'm gonna go get up, up off of that. Yo, as you can see, the gameplay was really smooth, though. I mean, if I go back in, I'll get that done. But we're gonna keep on going. All right, let's see what time it is. 9.17. All right. We can jump in one more. Uh oh man, damn. The homie Tyrone. Ooh, I want to jump on that second row, man. But I'm stuck on this part with these these monkeys or whatever, right? And I can't find the damn monkeys in time. They're too fast. So I don't know what to do right there. But uh Dirt 5, Dirt 5 recently dropped on the platform. It's always time for a good race or two. And after this. I might as well go back to Luna, start it all over again. And then I'll go, I'll go quicker though. And then I'll end up shutting it down. Y'all shut it down in like the next half an hour or so. This game right here, y'all can't even, don't even get me started on it. Welcome back, Ghost. Listen, if you win, kid, you're going to win it honestly, because I'm coming at you with everything I got. But after what I've seen, All right. 
I'm gonna pick up where we left off. We're looking forward to it. Icebreaker, of course. It has to be an ice race, right? Uh do I feel like doing an ice race? Let's just do it. Let's do it. Okay. I'm gonna jump right into it. Browser gameplay, y'all. Reminder, this is all in the browser. Set to 4K. Done. Damn, one more race? One more lap? I saw the fireworks, so I'm like, it's over. Again, this right here is where I start asking y'all. I start asking questions, right? Hey, all of this is in the cloud, man. 
And we got people out here who are like, nope, not doing it. Just not going to be able to do it. I'm sorry. They don't even care if their internet can handle it or whatever. They don't care if it's free or not. They're just like, no, I'm not doing it, right? And as I'm racing, I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm thinking about that right now as I'm racing, right? I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know how you avoid the cloud like this, people. I mean, I know it's not for everybody, but come on, man. Some people don't know what's for them until they try it. I know one thing, if I'm a gamer, damn, how many laps? If I'm a gamer, I'm playing, I'm playing in the cloud all day if it performs like this. what I was looking for. Damn. I ran like, what, eight laps? And just like that, a little bit of racing, y'all. So we'll go ahead and shut this down. All right, so that's enough Stadia right there. Overall, I think it did pretty good. You had one little blip. Who knows what caused that? But, hey, Overall, the performance was smooth as hell. All right, we're going to exit out. And we're going to go back to GeForce Now. I want to go back to the GeForce Now version of Watch Dogs, y'all, so y'all can see that. All right, let's do that. Watch Dogs Legion with ray tracing on. Eric Lugo is in the house. What's going on? He said, don't do it. That could mean anything, Eric. What's, what, what are you talking about right there, my man? All right. We're going to jump into this game right now. We saw the Luna version early in the stream. Now we're going to go ahead and turn on the ray tracing at Ultra over here on the GeForce Now side. Time flew by. I'm like, damn, it's already nine, almost 9.30. All right, so look, let me go ahead and put my stuff in real quick. I'll be right back, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. On Luna, I didn't have to do any of this right here. Not sure why. Be right back, though. And now I have to put that good old verification code in, man. Come on, man. I don't want to have to go through this all the time. What? Did it come to my phone? Hold on. No, it didn't. So I had to go to the website, y'all. Find this code and put it in. Through my, to my email, I mean. To my email. Hold up. All right, and just like that, I have it. Do I have it? Man, see, this is what I'm talking about right here, y'all. 
got to go through all like just these steps when I just want to just hop into the game. Now, I don't even know if I have that set up this way or not. I don't even remember setting it up. Maybe I did. All right, but let's go in. Shouldn't take that long. And of course, I signed into the wrong damn email account. <laughs> All right. Hold up. Okay, so I got it. All right, here it is. What? That's old. What the hell is going on, man? Like, I can't find Gmail. It should be at my Gmail. Was well, looking like this right here is not about to happen either because I can't even find a damn the code. So forget that. Let me come back. Let me turn this back on. <laughs> oh man. Like a simple step like that. And you can't continue unless you put it in. Where the hell did it go to? Cause it clearly didn't go to my email. Are you serious? Forget it. It's too long of a delay y'all. All right, I'm looking right now and it's linked to my Gmail account, but I don't see it in my Gmail at all. Let me see junk. So now it wouldn't be in there. Whatever. So we're not going to see that one right now, but what we can see. Hmm. Cyberpunk. They just messed up my whole program, y'all. Let's go cyberpunk then. Can't go wrong. And as I'm as it's loading, right, I'm still looking. I'm like, why the hell is it not? Why is why is it not there? Because the next time I try to play, I'm going to have to do this, go through the same steps. Hmm. Okay, continue without account. Play. So we could turn some ray tracing on up in here too. Man. Turn, turn the graphics on. We'll keep everything on. Depth of fill off though. Motion bird off. We'll leave that like it is. We'll turn our right, ray tracings on. DLSS needs to be on for sure. And continue. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. 
So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale? Apparently, the Corps figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters. Afraid some local fish. Don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. All right. Clear to go. Already looking pretty Shit, good. Where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta Aim down sight feels good. This dude right here. So, oh, I'm on this part. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, wait a minute. Before I do this, do I have it? Hold on. The settings, though, y'all. I'm trying to make sure nudity is not on or whatever. I don't think it is, but I don't. I forgot how to do. Let me go to settings. I got it. Now, where would it be? Wouldn't be under here, would it? Nope. Wouldn't be here. All right. V Sync is on. I can never find that damn that toggle. <sighs> I don't know where it is, y'all. No idea. Gameplay. Hey, it is what it is. Let's go. Stomach is steel, man. I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, Jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. This does not look in. good. Tough full of ice, though. Sandra Dorset, NC5. Platinum. Get. Look. Got it. Uh, got an idea. Found the shard. We're moving now. Check the biomass. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume an emergency. What? You. Me, need to know what's going Jackie, on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Engage, what the? I think. Where the car Where the? Get her out, Terrace. Secure. Stimulus being administered. 
70 milligrams dopamine, 110 norepinephrine, 800 for venogen. Now this part right here would look so much better at 4K. That's what I'm thinking about right now. All right. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. <sighs> Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. All right. That's enough for that. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to go to next, y'all, on Luna. And after that, I might just shut it down. I might just shut it down real quick. Uh, that looked good, but I, I need more detail. That's what I'm thinking. I need more detail when it comes to the um, GeForce Now. I wish I could have got Watch Dogs up, man, because that right there is like the best looking game I've seen so far. Running on GeForce now, I mean. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go Far Cry New Dawn. I saw somebody on this recently. I can't remember who it was, but I want to jump on it. And then after this, we'll shut it down. We don't have to go through the other one again, like PS Now, because I was just going to go to Black Ops, Black Ops 3. And then since um, I can't even play X Cloud right now. Of course, I'm going to have to sign in, though. And wait a minute. So right now. All right. So I didn't have to sign in. See what I'm saying? Like, why can't it just be like that for GeForce now? Why do I have to sign in every time? All right, so let me turn this volume up real quick. Oh, it's already up. That's what's up. So y'all probably couldn't hear what I was saying half the time on Cyberpunk. All right, let's go ahead and do what we need to do here. All right, got that. Oh, see this right here looks soft too, like. Streaming quality could be a little bit better. All 
All right, let's turn the settings. Let's make sure it's not on 720p, though. Oh, 1440? Damn. Not sure why it looks so soft. Ultra settings, high, whatever. Something is something going on with on like Luna. I just noticed that Luna just looks soft for me. Then turn V Sync on. But the game does feel good, though. It does feel good. I will say that. Damn it. I know I'm not missing. Come on, man. Did I shoot? Gosh. I need, a, I need an actual gun. What? Come on. Now this game right here, some weird stuff's going on here. Not talking about performance, just the game itself. But it's it's definitely it could definitely look better though. Alright. All right. Okay. I'm gonna skip this. Come on, we're almost there. Mom. 
All right, so that right there, that'll be enough for this one. Yeah, the game was all right. I mean, it was all right, though. It felt good. I just needed to look a little bit sharper, though. A little bit clearer. All right, so right there, I think what I'm going to do is end it right here. I think I'm going to end it right here. I think I went for a couple hours or whatever, like I said. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get the the test, this Xbox game streaming. Uh, they shut down, I guess they shut down the access to, to be able to try on desktop when it comes to xCloud or whatever. So that was unfortunate, but hopefully this gave everybody a good idea of what the cloud is like and how it is to play games in the cloud on on multiple services or whatever whichever one you choose um i'll be i'll be doing more of these i might drop something tomorrow um it's gonna look a little bit different than this one right here though of course because hey it might be time to just showcase one two throw some console gaming in there some pc game. i don't know but look i appreciate everybody to stop through so until the next one y'all keep it safe keep it positive and keep it gaming Peace.